Brought to you by wikivd.com Niall Rogers Niall Gregory Rogers Jr. is an American record producer, songwriter, musician, composer, arranger, and guitarist. He is the lead guitarist and co-founding member with Bernard Edwards of the band Chic, which has been active since 1976 and was one of the most successful groups of the disco era. He is famed for his chucking rhythm guitar style. Although he recorded three solo albums during the 1980s and 1990s, and one as part of the short-lived group Out Loud, Rogers has found more success in collaboration as producer and performer, with many artists including Sister Sledge, Diana Ross, Philip Bailey Thompson, Twins Sheena Easton, David Bowie, Brian Ferry, Duran Duran, Madonna, Ryan X. Britney Spears Spoons and more recently Daft Punk, Pharrell, Williams of EC Disclosure, Sam Smith, Pitbull, Lady Gaga, Kylie Minogue, Nervo, Laura, MVULA, Sigala, Keith Urban and Christina Aguilera. On April 7, 2017, Rogers was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and received an award for musical excellence. Early Life his mother became pregnant at age 13 and gave birth to him in New York City. His parents and stepfather were all beatniks and a heavy heroin users throughout his childhood. With music all around him in his childhood he tried out all of his school's band instruments. Before a love of the Beatles and John Lennon drew him towards the electric guitar, and especially the Fender Stratocaster. He began his career as a session guitarist in New York, touring with a Sesame Street band led by Joe Rapazzo in his teens, and then working in the house band at Harlem's world-famous Apollo Theater, playing behind Screamer Jay Hawkins, Maxine Brown, Aretha Franklin, Benny King, Betty Wright, Earl Lewis and the Channel's Parliament Funkadelic and many other legendary are. In his teens, Rogers was a member of the Harlem chapter of the Black Panther Party. For self-defense, he remains friendly with numerous former Panthers, including Professor Jamal Joseph. 1970s Niall met bassist Bernard Edwards in 1970 while working as a touring musician for the Sesame Street stage show. Together they formed the Big Apple Band and worked as backup musicians for the vocal group New York City. New York City's one hit allowed them to tour extensively even opening for the Jackson 5 on the American leg of their first world tour in 1973. The band dissolved after their second album failed to yield a hit but Nile and Bernard joined forces with drummer Tony Thompson and worked and recorded as a funk rock band called The Boys which played numerous jigs up and down the East Coast. Despite major label interest in their demos, they could not get a record deal when the record companies discovered they were black, as they thought that black rock artists would be too hard to promote. The band continued playing mostly local bars, formation of Chic. As the Big Apple band Rogers and Edwards worked with Ashford, and many others, since another New York artist Walter Murphy had a band also called the Big Apple band Rogers and Edwards were forced to change their band's name to avoid confusion. Thus in 1977 the band was renamed as Chic. Rogers has stated that a major inspiration was a Roxy music gig he saw in London, between gigs. They recorded their first album with then-boss Luther Vandross, who provided background vocals on the group's early recordings. The band scored numerous top ten hits and helped propel disco to new levels of popularity. Sheik's chart-topping songs La Freak I Want You, Your Love Everybody Dance 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 my Forbidden Lover and Good Times Became Club Pop R was composed after being turned away from Studio 54 despite being invited by Grace Jones, 
La Freak was Atlantic Records' only triple platinum selling single for more than 35 years and Good Times shot to the number one spot in spite of the Disco Sucks backlash in 1979. The success of Sheik's first singles led Atlantic to offer Rogers and Edwards the opportunity to produce any act on its roster. They chose Sister Sledge, whose 1979 album We Are Family peaked at number three and remained on the charts well into 1980. The first two singles, H.E.'s The Greatest Dancer and the title cut We Are Family both reached number one on the R. H.E.'s The Greatest Dancer was sampled in 1998 on Will Smith's Get and Jiggy Wit It. As the Sheik organization's tight sound became increasingly sought after Rogers and Edwards began record production with numerous artists together or individually, the combination of Niles' cocaine addiction insomnia and Bernard's family later separated the pair as partners as the circumstances lead Niall to work at an increasing rate whilst Bernard began to slow down. 1980s In 1980 Rogers and Edwards wrote and produced the album Diana for Diana Ross, yielding the smash hits Upside Down and I'm Coming Out, Sheik's song Good Times played a pivotal role in the explosion of hip-hop music as an interpolation of the song's bass line, and the record's string section sample was the bedrock of the Sugar Hill Gang's rapper's delight. The first multiple platinum hip-hop single, the Chic organization produced the smash hit Spacer, for French disco act Sheila and B. Devotion and Deborah Harry's 1981 solo album Cuckoo. Sheik dissolved in 1983 after its final Atlantic album on their contract Believer and Soup for One. At that time Rogers began a solo career producing his first album Adventures in the Land of the Good Groove. Rogers produced the 1983 album Talk Back by Canadian New Wave New Romantic Band Spoons which included the hit Old Emotions and the rhythm. Rogers produced David Bowie's biggest selling album Let's Dance, with several hit singles including China Girl Modern Love and the title track Let's Dance. He produced the single Original Sin by INXS. Duran Duran worked extensively with Rogers after he remixed the largest selling hit single The Reflex in 1984 and followed up with The Wild Boys on the 1984 live album Arena. It was rumored that Rogers had become a member of Duran Duran when they released the album Notorious but he only acted as a co-producer and session musician on that album. That same year he produced Madonna's blockbuster album Like a Virgin, spawning her two signature hits Material Girl and the album's title track Like a Virgin. The album saw an unofficial reunion of Sheik's core members with Rogers Edwards. Drummer Tony Thompson and keyboard player Robert Sabino all contributing. Rogers also joined Robert Plant's platinum-selling studio band The Honey Drippers on the album The Honey Drippers, Volume 1. This period sparked Rogers' interest in soundtracks the first of which were Alphabet City Gremlins Against All Odds That's Dancing White Knights and The Fly Brian Ferry. In 1985 Rogers produced albums for Sheena East and Jeff Beck, Thompson Twins Mick Jagger and many others while still finding time to perform at Live Aid. With Madonna and the Thompson Twins, he was awarded number one singles producer in the world in Billboard magazine to close out the year. In 1986, he produced Duran Duran's Notorious album which yielded a number two title track hit Notorious. During a live set Simon Le Bon introduced Rogers by saying well, this band went through a difficult time and it might not have made it if it weren't. For this gentleman, Rogers contributed to numerous other projects and appearances with members of the band throughout the 1980s. He also produced albums for Grace Jones, Earth Wind, and Fire's vocalist Philip Bailey and Al Jaro. Rogers performed on Higher Love, with Steve Winwood and 
records for Cyndi Lauper, Howard Jones and David Sanborn. He then worked on the soundtrack for Laurie Anderson's Home of the Brave. Rogers formed the short-lived experimental band Out Loud in 1987 with David Letterman's guitarist, composer and vocalist Felicia Collins and acclaimed French session musician, producer, composer and keyboardist Philippe Sess. The trio released a single album Out Loud on Warner Brothers Records. In 1988, Rogers composed his first orchestral soundtrack for the film Coming to America starring Edie Murphy. Rogers followed this with soundtracks for White Hot and Earth Girls Are Easy. The latter would pair him with the B-52s. In 1989 he co-produced their comeback multi-platinum album Cosmic Thing which had the hit singles. Love Shack Rome Cosmic Thing and Deadbeat Club. That year he also produced work in overtime. Diana Ross returned to Motown a deal that scored her an executive position at the label along with releases by the Dan Reed Network Slam and Duran Duran's compilation Decade, which was appropriately titled. It was the most successful decade for Rogers and also for many of the artists he worked with. 1990s. In February 1999, Rogers was a guest host on VH1's New Visions World Beat, where he interviewed Toots Hibbert. In September 1990, Epic Records released the Rogers produced Vaughn Brothers album Family Style. Shortly after the untimely death of guitar virtuoso Stevie Ray Vaughan, Early in this decade he also produced projects for David Bowie, Eric Clapton, the B-52s, David Lee Roth, Rick Ocasek, the Dan Reed Network, Kathy Dennis, Patty Griffin, Jimmy Vaughan, The Stray Cats and many other artists along with continuing soundtrack work on Thelma and Louise, Cool World and the Beavis and Butthead Experience. After a 1992 birthday party where Rogers Bernard Edwards, Paul Schaffer and Anton Figg played old chic hits to rapturous response. Rogers and Edwards reformed a new version of Chic. They recorded a fresh crop of material for the album Chicism and performed live worldwide. In 1995 he played on the track Money from Michael Jackson's album History. In 1996 Rogers released the album Chic Freak and more treats in Japan containing re-recordings of old chic material, with guest vocalists including Ashford and Simpson, Taja Savelle, Simon Le Bon and Christopher Max. Bernard Edwards also appeared alongside regular chic vocalist Silver Logan Sharp and drummer Omar Hakim. In April 1996 Rogers was honored as the JT Super Producer of the Year. He performed with Bernard Edwards' sister Sledge, Steve Winwood, Simon Le Bon, and Slash in a series of commemorative concerts in Japan which provided a career retrospective. Unfortunately Rogers found his longtime musical partner and close friend, Bernard Edwards, dead in his hotel room the morning after the last performance. A year later Rogers returned to Japan to pay homage to his fallen partner. In 1999, Rogers released Live at the Budokan a live recording of the April 17, 1996 JT Super produced a concert and made the decision not to make any overdubs or changes in order to keep the purity of his last performance with Edwards. He started playing live concerts again while composing and producing music. For film soundtracks, Beverly Hills Cop 3, Blue Chips, The Flintstones, and Feeling Minnesota, to name but a few. In 1997, Notorious Big released Mo Money Mo Problems, sampling Rogers. Mo Money Mo Problems topped the Billboard Hot 100 for two weeks and was nominated for the 1998 Grammy Award for Best Rap Performance by a Duo or Group. In 1998, Rogers founded Something Else Music Works record label and Something Distribution, an independent music label distributor. Something focuses on distributing a fast-growing new genre, video game soundtracks, 
Its titles include the complete Halo and Resident Evil franchises and other well-known AAA game soundtracks like Gears of War and Borderlands. 2000s Rogers focused on many soundtrack projects film and video games alike. Among them were Rush Hour 2 Snow Dogs and Semi Pro starring Will Ferrell, who co-wrote the title song Love Me Sexy with Rogers. In 2002-03 he co-produced Astronaut, with the original five members of Duran Duran. Also in 2002, Rogers appeared on the Red Hot Organization's compilation CD Red Hot and Riot. The CD a tribute to the music and positive social message of Afropop pioneer Fela Kuti. Featured Rogers on remakes of Kuti songs Water No Get Enemy and Zombie. Rogers appeared on Water No Get Enemy alongside influential hip-hop and R and the Saltronics and on Zombie with famous jazz trumpeter Roy Hargrove. All proceeds of the CD were donated to charities working towards greater AIDS awareness. The September 11th attacks prompted Rogers to create the We Are Family Foundation to help promote the healing process. To begin he organized a re-recording of the song He and Edward wrote for Sister Sledge called We Are Family with more than 200 musicians, celebrities and personalities. Director Spike Lee filmed the We Family music video, and director Danny Schechter filmed a documentary depicting the recording sessions called The Making and Meaning of We Are Family. The film was chosen as a Sundance Film Festival special selection in 2002. Rogers then produced another We Are Family music video involving more than 100 beloved children's television characters. The children's music video airs as a public service announcement on Disney Channel Nickelodeon and PBS stations promoting a common humanity and celebrating the vision of a global family. Rogers received the National Academy of Recording Arts and Sciences NY Chapters Governor's Lifetime Achievement Award and the Heroes Award. On September 19, 2005 he was honored at the Dance Music Hall of Fame in New York, when he was inducted for his many outstanding achievements as a producer along with former bandmate Bernard Edwards. Sheik has been nominated to The Rock and 2017. Rogers served as co-musical director for the tribute concert to Ahmet Ertegun at the Montreux Jazz Festival in the summer of 2006. The concert included performances by Sheik, Robert Plant, Steve Winwood, Stevie Nicks, Kid Rock, Benny King, Shaka Khan, George Duke, Paolo Nettini, and many other artists who were signed to Erta Guns Atlantic Records. A PBS documentary, Atlantic Records, the house that Armet built uses footage from this show, as it was one of the last times Ertegun would be captured on video. 2010-2014 In 2010 Rhino Records released a four-CD box set Nile Rogers Presents the Sheik Organization. Volume 1, Savoir Faire, which for the first time collected tracks from all of the acts produced by the Sheik organization up to their original breakup in 1983. Rogers provided sleeve notes for the set which was also reissued in 2013. Rogers' critically acclaimed autobiography entitled La Freak, an upside-down story of family. Disco and Destiny was published by Spiegel. It was named one of the top 10 of the 25 greatest rock memoirs of all time by Rolling Stone. This is a rich warm tale of a fascinating life in the golden age of New York and pop. The Guardian. He has additionally stayed active in music since the reunion of the Chic organization by touring as Chic Feet, Nile Rogers, and producing live events. In recent years he has continued to collaborate with an array of musicians including his 2014 three-time Grammy Award-winning collaboration with Daft Punk, VC Disclosure and Sam Smith among many others. In October 2011 Rogers worked 
with singer Adam Lambert in New York on a song entitled Shady for Lambert's second album, Trespassing. Both Rogers and Lambert tweeted enthusiastically about the collaboration, and Rogers also mentioned it on his blog Planet C in February 2012. Rogers announced that he was collaborating with electronic band Daft Punk for the latest album. Teasing out there are, at the 2013 Ultra Music Festival in Miami Rogers confirmed that he was working with Daft Punk, as well as recording multiple tracks with AVC and mentioned work with Chase and Felix da Housecat. On March 31, 2013 BBC4 broadcast a documentary about his music life. Niall Rogers, the hitmaker starting from the point that Sheik was formed until the present, including stories about his involvement in producing numerous hits and albums for some of the world's best artists and bands. True to his word, Rogers performed on Daft Punk's chart-topping album Random Access Memories. Rogers co-wrote, and played guitar on three tracks, Give Life Back to Music, Lose Yourself to Dance, and Get Lucky. On April 21, 2013 Get Lucky entered the official UK singles chart at number three. Despite having been available for little more than 24 hours and rose to number one on April 28, 2013. In an interview with official charts company Rogers said I've had big records and number ones. I have had records that were number one in the United States, but nowhere else. I've had records which have done well in the UK, but not in the States. But, to have this ubiquitous record that is a hit in everywhere, it's amazing to me. I'm out on the road, and I can hear it wherever I go. I'm flabbergasted. Rogers declined to perform Get Lucky. Live until performing it live with Daft Punk but at Sheik's live shows in 2013. The record would usually be played immediately after the group's set, with Rogers remaining on stage to lead the crowd in clapping and singing along. After Rogers performed the song with Daft Punk at the Grammy Awards in January 2014, Get Lucky was added to the set list for Sheik's 2014 live dates. On June 28, 2013 Chic Feet, Niall Rogers' performance at the Glastonbury Festival in the UK was aired live on BBC. The performance was given a five-star review by The Guardian, with a headline. The West Holt stage saw some of the greatest pop music ever made expertly played by a ferociously well-drilled band. Noel Gallagher from Oasis also commented my favourite act at this year's Glastonbury when I went was not the Rolling Stones as great as they were, was not the Arctic Monkeys as good as they were, was not Disclosure as good as they were, but it was chic, they were fucking mega, absolutely out of this world. In July 2013, Rhino Records release Niall Rogers presents the chic organization up all night. A compilation album featuring songs written played are produced by Rogers and Bernard Edwards. The Sheik and various artists including Diana Ross, Sister Sledge, Carly Simon, Debbie Harry, Johnny Mathis, Sheila, two on the UK compilation album chart for the week ending July 13, 2013. In October 2013, Rhino release Nile Rogers presents the Sheik organization Up All Night that includes a medley taken from Sheik Feet. Niall Rogers' live performance at the 2013 Blastonbury Festival. In August 2013, the track Mandu Ben was released by the Brazilian band Dota Quest, with the participation of Nile Rogers. Rogers co-produced and played guitar on Ten Snakes track. Love Sublime featuring Niall Rogers and Fiora. On October 10, 2013 Niall Rogers and Bernard Edwards were nominated to the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Chic Feet, Niall Rogers, opened the X Factor live show on November 2, 2013 for Disco Week. They performed a medley of hits including La Freak H.E.'s The Greatest Dancer and Good Times. On January 26, 2014 Rogers performed Get Lucky with Daft Punk on the Grammy Awards along 
with Pharrell, Williams and Stevie Wonder with a medley including elements of Sheik's La Freak and Wonder's Another Star. Rogers won three Grammy Awards for his work with Daft Punk and Random Access Memories including Best Pop Duo, Group Performance Record of the Year and Album of the Year. In March 2014, Rolling Stone named Nile Rogers one of the 50 most important people in EDM stating, The full scope of Nile Rogers' career is still hard to fathom and it's not just ongoing. It's in overdrive. On May 8, 2014 the Nile Rogers Global Creators Award was presented to Rogers by Paul Williams during the Canadian Music Week Festival in Toronto. The award was originally called the Global Creators Award, and it was renamed in 2014 in honor of Rogers. On May 21, 2014, the IMS Legends Award was presented to Rogers in Ibiza by Simon Labin. Rogers said upon receiving the award, I am extremely honored to follow Pete Tong Carl Cox and Fat Boy Slim as the fourth recipient of the IMS Legends Award. On May 22, 2014, Johnny Marr presented Rogers with the Ivan Novello Award Special International Award. You hear his heart with his right hand and his soul with his left. Marr remarked upon giving Niall the award. I hope you feel loved now because you are. You showed what a guitar player could be and what music could be and always carried yourself with such dignity, grace and positivity. On July 4, 2014 Chic Feet, Niall Rogers headlined the 2014 Essence Festival curated by Prince. Special guests performing with Chic during a segment of the show that highlighted Chic's songwriting and production work. For other artists were Kathy Sledge for Sister Sledge's We Are Family Janelle Monet. For Sister Sledge's H.E. is the greatest dancer and Prince for David Bowie's Let's Dance. Roger's solo single Do What You Wanna Do was released on August 10, 2014, to benefit his We Are Family Foundation. On September 7, 2014 Chic headlined Bestival on the Isle of Wight, UK. Rogers told Bestival founder Rob Darbank he and Chic would headline if he built the world's largest disco ball. Guinness Book of World Records verified Bestival's disco ball as the largest ever built at 10.33 meters in diameter. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame nominated Chic for the ninth time with a 2015 nomination. On December 16, 2014 the Grammys announced that Sheik's hit single, La Freak would be inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame. Since 2015, Niall Rogers was the 2015 honoree of the Producers and Engineers wing of the Recording Academy. In February 2015 he won the Golden Camera Award for Musical Lifetime Achievement. In March 2015, it was announced that Niall Rogers was working with Kylie Minogue for her new Christmas album. It was also announced that Rogers and Grace Jones would be supporting acts for Minogue at the British Summer Time on July 21, 2015. On March 20, 2015, Rogers released Sheik's first single in more than 23 years will be there, with a live-streamed concert from the Roundhouse in London, UK. The song created by Rogers, from original Chic outtake tapes from the 70s features original band members, the late bassist Bernard Edwards and drummer Tony Thompson and vocalists Alpha Anderson and Lucci Martin. The music video was filmed by fashion photographers, filmmakers Inez and Binod, and stars supermodel Carly Kloss. The song went to on Billboard's Dance Music Chart June 20, 2015. In June 2015 pretended to be a busker on London South Bank. Rogers admitted that he didn't draw much of a crowd until I started playing dance music. On August 4 and 5, 2015 Rogers launched Fold Festival, a multi-day event with a diverse lineup of artists including Beck Duran Duran, Chaka Khan, Keith Urban, Janelle Monae, Ginger Mint Sheik and many others.
Rogers announced this event is to now take place on a yearly basis. Rogers was presented with the 2015 BMI Icon Award at the BMIR with Lady Gaga to remake Sheik's hit I Want Your Love for Tom Ford's Spring Summer 2016 collection video in lieu of a fashion show. Rogers and Bernard Edwards were inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame on June 9, 2016. Rogers was named as 2016's main BBC Music Day ambassador. Rogers was presented with British GQ magazine's Icon of the Year Award on September 6, 2016. Christina Aguilera feat. Niall Rogers' song Telepathy goes number one on Billboard Dance Charts November 12, 2016. The song was written for the Get Down on Netflix. Rogers was inducted into the 2017 class of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. For musical excellence, it's sort of bittersweet, says Rogers. I'm quite flattered that they believe that I was worthy, but my band Sheik didn't win. They plucked me out of the band and said, you're better than Sheik, that's wacky to me. I am flattered and I think it's cool, but I feel like somebody put me in the lifeboat and told my family they can't get in. On the evening of June 25, 2017, Rogers and Sheik returned to the Glastonbury Festival as headliners on the Pyramid stage for an audience of close to 100,000. The Hitmaker Rogers plays a 1960 Fender Stratocaster with a 1959 neck affectionately nicknamed The Hitmaker which he acquired as a trade-in at a small shop in Miami Beach, Florida. Exceptionally light, it has a maple fingerboard and bears a well-worn white finish. Rogers claims that it does not sound like any other Stratocaster in the world. In his autobiography La Freak, an upside-down story of family disco and destiny, Rogers stated, One day following a gig in Miami, Nard got me to trade in my prized jazz guitar, a hollow-bodied Gibson Barney Kessel for a sleek solid-bodied Fender Stratocaster, the six-string equivalent of trading in a Range Rover for a Porsche. The local act that opened for us played on our equipment and their guitar player sounded better than I did on my own amplifier. Nard convinced me it was the guitar that made the difference. His soul man makeover plan was working. He came to my room to admire my new guitar, and showed me the style the other guy had played on my amp. He fingered the chords with his left hand and his right hand would continuously play 16 notes to the bar while accenting the main parts of the rhythm. He called it chucking. Bernard used to be a guitar player before he switched to bass and one lesson was all I needed for the next few nights straight while my roommate pursued all manner of trysts. I was having a love affair in the bathroom with my new axe. In just a few days, I'd emerge as a chucking funk guitarist who knew more jazz chord inversions than most of my are. The Fender Custom Shop introduced a limited edition Nile Rogers hit make a Stratocaster guitar, a recreation of Rogers' own guitar in January 2014. Health In January 2011 Rogers revealed on his website that he had aggressive prostate cancer, which had been diagnosed in October 2010. As a result, he started a cancer blog called walking on Planet C detailing his status and upcoming projects. On July 29, 2013, Rogers posted on Twitter that he had been given the all-clear regarding his cancer. In November 2013 he gave an interview to BBC News talking about Daft Punk Madonna Diana Ross and beating cancer. Brought to you by Wikivd.com would you like to know more?